Hey developers, welcome to OutSystem. Today we are going to build a very easy chatbot. And to get started, my name is Sydney Lai. I'm a developer advocate here at OutSystems and I build enterprise level web and mobile applications. Feel free to join us on our community so you can ideate, hang out with me and you know build other DevTools integrations and find technical documentation. Today, we are going to build an IBM Watson Assistant. As you can see here, here is the dialogue for the chat application. It's gonna be a pretty simple drag and drop kind of build. And at the very end product, this is what the alien communication device is going to look like. It's a pretty fast and fun build. If you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can see when we do publish our two to three videos a month. And with that being said, feel free to also like because it really helps us uh, reach more developers with our educational content. With that being said, I often, you know, think about what kind of projects do I want to build? What do I want to build next? And I like to look around the dev tool landscape to get some inspiration. You know, typically what's really popular is Postman for, you know, building great APIs. I use our systems to build enterprise web applications, but I do like to turn to my man Elon for some great inspiration. So much so I even decided to study for some binary for no apparent reason. And then I decided, hey, I'm going to build a really awesome chatbot. And that chatbot, uh, you know, once I started typing it up, looking how to do it, I realized, oh my gosh, there is a simple and easy way to build a chatbot. So I guess I'm a chatbot developer now. And there's really two things that you need to get started with. There's an IBM Watson account and an OutSystems account. And once you have that signed up, the most important thing actually to get started with is grabbing a piece of paper and pen and figuring out what kind of dialogue do you want to have your communication play out, right? So in this scenario, I am speaking to an alien bot they're in Mars and I'm a human and they're gonna respond, I'm gonna respond. They're gonna respond, I'm gonna respond. And the three things that you wanna remember is your intents and your entities. The entities will be the, you know, the, uh, the, the content or the variables that you want to put into your, into your conversation, right? So when you have yourself respond with an intent in that, in that parentheses is going to be a confirmation, a zip code, an eye color. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So once you have, once you have your IBM Watson uh, sign up ready, you wanna launch your assistant. When you launch your assistant, then you're gonna click on create an assistant. You're gonna go into your dialogue. And as I've mentioned before, your three main things is dialogue, intense, and entities, right? So just as a huge reminder, this is what your dialogue is gonna look like. There's gonna be a sequence because you've already written it out on a piece of paper, so you know how the conversation's gonna go. And very easily, when you add a node, add a node and add a node, you're gonna start sequencing your conversation and what you want your assistant to recognize in the very beginning is welcome, and then how you want your assistant to respond. And if your assistant should wait for a reply or jump to another child node. And in this example, you can see you want your assistant to recognize a confirmation. That confirmation is going to be showed in the intents, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Once you respond, you as a human respond to the chat app, you can then have your assistant jump to reply or go to the accurate you know, place in your conversation. Now, the second part is creating the intent, right? So you create an intent, and then in your confirmation, you can name your intent however you want. I'm gonna do hashtag confirmation. You can put in the different examples, such as yes, no, I am. And what this shows here is that Watson starts to learn your conversation. Watson starts to learn what kind of words that you input into. And that's where the machine learning comes into play. Of course, you can create other intents for eye colors, general greetings, and then during the drop-down menu, you can have your assistant learn a specific intent. Of course, you can also check the 
support technical documentations that I have linked below for a more thorough step-by-step -step walkthrough. With the intent entities, uh, what we have here is going to be a zip code. So you can create an entity for zip codes and landmarks. They they have, you know, IBM already has this in their in their database, in their ecosystem. And yeah, that's I mean that's really it. And once you start creating this dialogue, then you can start referencing, hey, do I want to show a confirmation or is this relevant for the eye color itself, right? So that's that's really that's how simple it is. Um, once you have this done, then what you want to do is go into the integrations, right? When you click on your conversation, you have the integrations on the right hand side. And we just want to do a simple web chat integration. And this is the main code that you're going to follow. You see the scripts here. We're actually going to remove that. So you really just copy copy this main section here and I'm going to show you uh, what that looks like in our in our environment. So uh, pretty simply said you're going to create a new application it's going to be a reactive web app and let's say it's called Elon's child right because he's in space he has a kid now. Pretty simple create a module and this is going to be your your, your web application so we're going to create a home screen all right, just name it home. Nope, home. And we're going to make sure that we set this to public. Yes, anonymous. And let's set the event to on ready so that, you know, the chat app is ready once the screen is populated. We're going to drag and drop this this widget here. So we're going to be able to put in that script that we just had. Like I said before, remember to remove the script uh, because the Owl Systems automatically uh, does that, right? With that being said, all right, let's save, publish. Here we go. And here you already have the main chat application. So, hey, are you a human uh, on Earth? Yes, I am. And Watson is thinking, Watson is learning. How about I transport you to Mars just to confirm my existence? Sure, yeah, sure. okay. Um, let's see how else they respond. I will send you and fetch you. What is your zip code? Ooh, let's find a zip code. I am, ooh, uh, there you go. And, Location, yeah, what is your eye color? I'm gonna go with, well, my color is brown. And he is being sassy, what a tragic color. There you go. That is a pretty quick and easy integration. Now, of course, if you are looking to, you know, design it in any way possible, you can then, of course, drop in a container, right, add an image. And you can also bring up that pretty fun alien GIF that I will also link in the description. So import an image in my desktop, open. So you can see this is already starting to come together. All right, now that's fully updated, we can go into the screen and see that this has been updated as well. You just gotta remember to push it refresh and let's get back to this, right? So what you've done today is created a chatbot through IBM Watson. You've also been able to easily integrate your chatbot with a full full web application. Feel free to try out our systems. Uh, use the code IBM to get a free personal environment. It's going to be very fast, easy, awesome. And you're not alone. We are 300,000 community members across the US across the world. We like to build uh, different types of web and mobile applications. Feel free to join us to learn more on how to develop. And you can integrate chat applications across different sectors. It can be logistics companies, it can be financial services and banking, or if you just want to build your own application, feel free to come hang out. Thank you so much for your day. And feel free to check in next time for upcoming videos on fun builds.